Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to replace brake pads on a Terra Sequoia Land Cruiser uh, Tundra. It's a four piston, four piston brake caliper. As you can see, two piston from one side, two piston from the other side. Uh, I'm not sure if I can see or not, but the one, there's only one spring here. This spring that pushes out the brake pad. The other one is missing. So whoever replaced it didn't do a good job. So I'm gonna start with uh, there is this pin spring. It pops out. You just pull it out with your hands. Put it to the side, and then next step is is to remove is to remove those pins here. Those. Not the pins, but spring, this clip, spring, whatever it's called. Now I can push those pins out that hold the brake pads. As you can see, they come out easily. Uh, then I'm gonna push this out. Just remember to put it back as is. It's easy, very easy to do it. Nothing. So. Next step is I'm gonna get the, the pad itself. Even if it's good, but what I'm gonna show you, same steps you will follow. This is just a preventive uh, maintenance that I'm doing on it. So to get this out, Just slightly take a screwdriver, yank on it somewhere. As you can see, it's not that difficult, it comes off it's coming out easily. So the brake pad is pretty much brand new. As you can see it's, it has full full thickness. But uh, I'm not going to replace them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to service them. What I mean by service them is push them, take a look. I'm going to look at it, make sure they're not damaged, but I'm going to wipe off. Excess grease. I'm gonna use this four piston quad by Matka. I purchased online. Is preventive. So I'm gonna put it right between the Surprisingly, will let me, as you can see, will let me slide in from this side. What I'm trying to do is prevent the maintenance is to push the pistons back so they get lubricated, so they don't get, so they do not, so it doesn't come to the point where they get stuck, rusted in. So if you do a couple, once a year, you'll be in good shape. So I'm going to do the other side too. As you can see, they're coming out easily without putting a lot of effort to it. As you can see they're in good shape. Almost like brand new. So now I'm gonna use it. Put it in. Let me see if we can spread this.
So that's as far as it goes. Actually, I can't even spread them out because the brake pads are brand new, and this tool, I guess, it goes far enough to put new put put new brake pads. But that's how you would do it, you know. So this is it. It only it's gonna let you spread out as far as needs to go. So I'm gonna put it back. But if the if the pads were halfway through, it would be a perfect idea to push the pistons back, get them lubricated, release any pressure. So I'm putting back. Same thing on this side. That's how you would replace with new ones. So now, once the pads are in, the brake pads are in, make sure you install this uh, spring or whatever it's called the right way. Make sure, as you can see, it's resting right on the pad itself because you can do opposite. You can install it opposite way. And if you do install it, you have a chance of actually getting inside the rotor and damaging you're not gonna damage much but you can damage the caliper so make sure it's up and it's red as rests on it and make sure those pins goes inside the hole on both sides as I'm showing and this is up pointing and then just put your uh, Put your pins, those pins in, top on the bottom one, and there's little holes on the pins, on each pin, make sure you just, you know, if you need to, if it doesn't go in, it doesn't go in, align it, align the pin, twist the pin, and same thing the other side. You need to pull it. You need to pull it out. Pull it out. Align it. Put it back. Put it in this caliper. There's a little hole. Check. Make sure it's all there. Nothing's loose. And good to go.